Graphene is a single atom thick sheet of carbon atoms connected together in a hexagonal pattern. Whereas carbon nanotubes is when you take graphene and you roll it into a tube, you can turn it into a wire. There are a number of applications of both materials at the moment and some of them we are trying to bring to the market already this year. Some examples are graphene-based heaters. You simply take graphene powder, disperse it in water-based solvent and then you could take this graphene paint and deposit it on any surface or on a wall or on your floor which will heat. I'm very excited about the process which we develop here uh, in Cambridge General Systems because this enables us to take a greenhouse gases like methane and carbon dioxide and turn them into these advanced high performance materials like graphene. And in this process, our byproduct is hydrogen. About three years ago, one kilogram of high quality graphene was about a million pounds. Today, we are selling kilogram of graphene for about 500 pounds. So there is obviously a massive price drop. We are making several kilos per day of uh, the highest quality graphene material uh, in a solid form. We are working in the area of aerospace as well as in construction. Uh, in aerospace, we are looking at deploying heaters on the wings of aeroplanes for de-icing. We are thinking about bringing graphene to domestic heaters, but also industrial heaters. Other applications we are looking at is additives in composites, particularly in carbon fibre, in car tyres, in lubricants and additives to reinforce concrete. But when we started to really control the structure of nanotubes, we realised that we can actually make applications purely based on these nanostructures. And this is when I went into working uh, with several spin-out companies. I'm a chemist and material scientist, but also I'm an entrepreneur. Often industry is thinking about certain uh, way of using the science and how the science would work. But the scientist often uh, thinks in a different way. The trust and understanding of what is being delivered from the lab to the industry is very important. When I got the fellowship, uh, I immediately learn about number of possibilities that I can have. There, there, there are a number of training opportunities like leadership training, business training, media communication training. And that, was, that support was amazing. What I like in my area of work is not just to discover that new material, optimize this new material, but also try to really bring it to applications and make use of it uh, on a large scale. Graphene can offer massive changes to the way we live, but also enable technology which is not possible to do today. 